This year, 2014, four of our undergraduate students were entered as the South African team, along with a student from the University of Stellenbosch and the University of Fort Hare, as the South African team competing in the World Computer Cluster Competition for undergraduates. Our team won it. They won uh, for South Africa. They, they, the competitive competition was with major universities around the world, for instance, the MIT from the United States, University of Edinburgh, and the top three Chinese um, universities. So what is computer cluster? What were they doing? Supercomputing. They were trying, the, the goal of the competition was for the teams to put together a series of computers to work on a single problem. So they had to link the computers up into a computer cluster to make a supercomputer to solve a difficult problem as a team in the shortest possible time with the minimum amount of energy input in terms of power. Can you see that that is a wonderful there's the problems that we face in South Africa. We need to work together as a team to solve very difficult problems in the shortest possible time using the minimum amount of resources. The South African team outstripped the international competition quite dramatically and came home as the world champions in this computer cluster competition. Hi, my name is Eugene de Vester. I'm a student at the third year student at the University of the Western Cape. I'm currently studying towards a computer science degree. This is my final year. Uh, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about the competition that we were involved in. It's the International Student Cluster Competition, which involves students from all over the world coming together and putting together a cluster of computers to try and compete against one another in terms of certain, certain benchmarks and scientific applications. The whole idea is to put a bunch of computers together uh, that are more powerful than the average computer you'll find here and to put them in a situation where they work together to perform a common task. Now, during our time at a university or a Technicon or anything, you wouldn't be exposed to this kind of technology easily. So this was something very new to us. And the preparation that the team had, it really helped us to, to go forward into this competition. And I think that during our time here at the University of the Western Cape, we were really conditioned to working under pressure, which is a very handy skill for us to have during such a competition where you're often constrained by certain time constraints or power constraints and things such as that. So we, we were conditioned for those kinds of situations here during our time studying at the University of the Western Cape. And we worked very well together and I'm happy to say that we ended up taking away the prize for overall winners. And I'm happy to say that because it puts the University of the Western Cape on the map and it shows that we, it, this university does produce capable and talented individuals. I'm going to hand over to Nicole to continue. Hi, I'm Nicole Thomas and I'm doing my final year in physics at the University of the Western Cape. Going into this competition was very intimidating for the four of us as neither of us were very familiar with the concept of high performance computing in the beginning. And luckily, we are a group of people who are always willing to help the next one. If one person got stuck, there was always someone to help you out of it. And I think that made a huge contribution to our success. Going into the International League, it was extremely more intimidating as some of the teams were doing either their masters in high performance computing or had done the competition before. And sometimes, to this day, we're still amazed at how far we've come. I'll give over to Saeed. Hello. I'm Saeed Natha, a third year computer science student at the University of the Western Cape. It's been an amazing experience to enter the International Student Com Cluster Competition and I would strongly recommend any student put their name forward for this competition in the next year. Initially, when we entered, we had no real hopes of winning, but it's amazing what willingness to learn and good teamwork can get you. To be honest, it was a little daunting at first entering such a competitive environment, but it ended up being a great learning experience and good life experience as well. Hi, my name is Warren Jacobus, a final year ComSci student at the University of the Western Cape, South Africa. So this whole journey of our, the competition we went through has opened many doors for us um, with bursaries, especially study opportunities for postgrad studies and so on. And I think I speak for all of us um, that we will all be doing our postgrad studies up until masters or even PhD in a field, our respective fields uh, that is actively involved in HPC. Um, I think the reason why we would want to be actively involved in this field is because we would not want to lose the skills that we have 
learned during our, our journey of this whole competition and yeah, we hope to be the future HPC experts in South Africa. So, that is so the that was, most awkward thing I've ever That was the most awkward thing I've ever <laughs> <laughs> You just changed like your whole speech. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh,